high school. I'm in 10th grade. And according to the videos that we that I saw, actually, they they inspired me to, um, like he said, if we have a dream, to speak up. And my, one of the ways for me to speak speaking up is by drawing and leaving a message behind every drawing, because mm -hmm. a picture is more than is more is worth more than a thousand words. So that's another way of me expressing myself. But according to the videos that that were filming in Uganda. I mean, if people in the situation that they were in the war and not being able to have as, men, as much food as we have, as much clothes, all this extra stuff that we buy for like $100, which is not really worth, it's just clothes. And if they don't have that and if they, they're making a change, they're trying to make lyrics and sing, giving us the message that they're doing what they have to do to make a change in this world. Because it starts by one person, and then it goes to two, and then it keeps going, it keeps growing, making a change in, in, in what we should be changing right now. Like the president, um, Barack Obama, right now in the United States, his, his statement is always to make a change. But just because we could change something doesn't mean we have to, but we should. Because that change is going to affect everybody in your neighborhood. Your fut the future, actually, your kids, and not, not mainly about the future, but more about what's happening now. Mm -hmm. That if whatever happened over there or is happening now, it's not affecting them. Well, actually it did, but they're showing that they still have a, a strong side willing to give a message. Willing to give a message and, and tell you that, that anything is possible as long as you're willing to go for it. Well, what are some of uh, the things that you see, like, you know, we're here, like, in the Bronx, there's a lot of gang violence. You know, what, what are some of the, the topics in your heart that you feel have created a, a, a state of, you know, emergency for young people to be able to get involved and stand up and say something? Yeah, that is, the Bronx is actually known for having the most gangs at one place. And I can say that I come from a family of, Gang related people. Just that um, I, I, I could say I'm part of that, but I, 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 have, I have to make a choice whether follow what they, they told me was good, which was fight back when people tried to shoot you and stuff like that. I had to make a choice and either stay in school and get my education, which is going to allow me to prove them wrong that you don't have to be in any type of group um, causing violence and blood killing people's family members to feel good. Because most of those people don't really do it because, because they want to. They're being forced to because nobody goes out there and give them the message that anything is possible if you just try to go back and finish your, edu um, your school, graduate, and after that, you're gonna have a mindset of what you already want. So just, and this is one statement I always make, just because your surroundings tell you to do something doesn't mean you have to follow. You could live in a, I live in a neighborhood full of gangs. I, I, I walk through my neighborhood, sometimes it doesn't feel safe, but I'm making the change. I'm coming to school, one day I'm gonna go back to, to, to the neighborhood with something positive to say, with a, with a good message. And that's how the kids that are at the moment, they are trying to join the gangs, that's when they're gonna have to make a choice, but somebody is already telling them they have a choice. Most people don't know they have a choice they go for what they have in front of their faces, right? They get the moon. Mm -hmm. That's quite a depth of a description, you know, of someone really breaking out and wanting to be positive among us, you know, a lot of negativity surrounding you, you know? But, you know, with all the dreams that you have, what are some of the things you're aspiring to accomplish? Well, to accomplish right now, I've been doing it since I was like six, six years old. I've been playing instruments, music, and I used to be the leader of the music for my, my, the church that my parents are, uh, attend right now. So that's one thing I really want to do, um, get more professional into music, become a teacher, know what to know about music, and go out there and just teach people the basic message of music, which is a heal to your soul, basically. Mm -hmm. And how are you taking a trip somewhere? What trip are you taking? Oh, I'm going, um, I, I don't remember the date, but um, I'm representing the school, Pablo Neruda, in 
at Jazz and Lincoln Center, um, performing and and being part of the the, the performance and um in music. I'm representing playing a, a piece in the piano. And how did that happen? Actually, I just there was a, a program going around saying that there's piano lessons in um, every Wednesdays after school. So I'm interested in learning how to play more, even though I'm already good at the moment, but I want to learn more. So I went, the teacher saw that I have the, um, what it takes to, to already know how to play. So she doesn't really teach me much. She just gives me like tips. So she just asked me to, um, to, to, if I wanted to represent the school because nobody else is attending the program. Sometimes every Wednesday is only me by myself in that classroom learning how to, um, how to do something in music. So how do you feel about the concept of you now being or having the opportunity to go and represent the school? I mean, actually, I'm proud. Like, like actually, when I told this to my parents, at the moment, they were shocked. But then they, they was proud of me because I'm making the change. My father comes from a family of none of them are musicians. He learned how to play the guitar in like three years, and that's all he's been doing. And now that he's hearing that I'm representing a school, with music, it's just like, I'm making a change in my family. So why shouldn't anybody else go out there and make a change? Definitely, I think this is a very prolific example of you know, young people aspiring to really make a difference. And I think it starts with that individual, like you say, yourself, realizing that you walk away from a negative aspect in your life, even when the masses say that this is what's to follow. You know, and then, and then talking to a young man who's looking at his family and saying, you know what, I know my family was from nowhere, part of what has liberated me, but now I'm taking it back to the family and I can see transformation. I think that's the power of what we're all aiming to accomplish. And we're definitely very blessed to be at PNA and have the opportunity to even get this prolific moment right now. I think this is why we stayed behind today, is to get this. And we've received it and we're very grateful and we'll continue to spread it for young people around the world to understand that we do have a power and a voice and we're capable of standing up and being a part of a difference of what we want to see this world that we're all walking into become a better place.